All right, so now we're at the Excel demo for um, Energy 142, the class number nine. So this is how to build sort of an adjusted baseline sheet um, to calculate the adjusted baseline of uh, three years of utility bills, given three years of utility bills. So we've already gone over this first sheet. So these, remember, this is the temperature list um, for Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, for a bunch of uh, years. Um, and we, we've gone over how to calculate the temperature in Fahrenheit and the hours since the last measurement and the heating degree days and cooling degree days. So you should have already have this have this sheet completed. Um, when I give you this sheet, I'm going to um, delete the blue areas because this is something you should have completed. So I would start with that. Um, the other thing to notice is that what I, the only difference I'm going to make here in this sheet from uh, what you calculated before is I'm going to have this base temperature here that um, all of our sort of calculations are drawing from, I'm going to have that equal K2 in my adjusted baseline sheet. So let's go ahead and just jump over to K2 to see what I'm doing here. So why I did that was in the adjusted baseline sheet, K2. I just put a base temperature in here. So now if I change this base temperature, um, this in here, all my calculations for cooling degree days and heating degree days will change. And you'll see why that's important in a little bit. But let's let's get over to what the sheet's all about first. So let's go ahead and let's just look at um, sort of the first couple um, entries here. And we don't need to worry about what's going on down below because it's just sort of the thing. So you're going to put all your information for your bills in here in the white areas. The bill start date, the bill end date. So it's just as easy as um, copy and pasting those those the natural gas used. Um, and the electricity used. So you're not going to need, really need the electricity used, so if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, um, but it, it never hurts um, because you're only going to be creating an adjusted baseline for natural gas. So, um, and then what you're going to be calculating here is the adjusted baseline for natural gas and the natural gas savings. And the only thing I have, I don't have here that you will be calculating also is um, the percent savings. And obviously you'll be answering some questions about um, everything that you've looked at. So that's great. So let's look at, um, let's, let's now the heating degree days and cooling degree days. What these are is, these are something you're going to calculate. So for example, in the temperature sheet, we have all the heating degree days and cooling degree days. But just like you did with uh, your assignment when you did heating degree days and cooling degree days, between two dates now, you're going to have, um, between two dates, you're going to calculate how many heating degree days there were during those two dates. So, um, and that's going to be your bill start and bill end date. So these are actually the heating degree days and cooling degree days between these two dates. And you can see as summer comes around, the heating degree days get much less and the cooling degree days get much more. You can also see that if I change this base temperature, the K2 over here, so let's go ahead and change that. Let's just change it to something drastic like 10 degrees. That the heat, If we change it to 10 degrees, the cooling degree days spike way up and the heating degree days go way down. So that's the general idea um, of you know having this base temperature here. Let's just go ahead and set it back to 65, and you can see it's the other way around. Great. So now that we have all that information, let me go over to this three-parameter model I, I've set up for you here. So I was going to uh, make you type these formulas in, but they're pretty complicated, so it's not really worth it. The base temperature we already talked about. Remember, C and B1 are modeled for three-parameter. E equals C plus B1 times degree days. So how we get these is, remember, we have linest, known Ys, known Ys are the natural gas used for the first year. Known X is, the, is the heating degree days for the first year. And then this 1 and 0 is that constant stats, which you talked about sort of in the PowerPoint. And then the index 2 is just picking out C instead of B1, because you can see the only thing that changes here is the 1 in the index formula. Okay? And then the R squared value is the same type of thing. We talked about this in the PowerPoint that stats is going to be true instead. Okay? And then index is a little bit different. So don't worry about exactly how those formulas. I'm not going to test you on that. Um, but that's the general idea um, with how those are gotten. So, and then what you, so what you do is here in year two, um, once year two starts, so in adjusted baseline, um, in the G14, so the cell below, I don't want to show you the formula, so I'm not clicking on it. Um, you're going to use what you found from year one, 
your model to calculate those numbers. Okay, so think about how that works um, in there. But the big thing I want you to see here is that right now our R-squared value is 0.86. And that's what the base temperature is 65. So let's just play around with this a little bit. If we do a base temperature of 75, that R-square value is going to go down. And that makes sense because that, that's not a good model for um, a base temperature of a school. Um, let's, let's, let's even try something more drastic. Let's try 90. So we're getting a worse and worse fit as we go up. So let's instead try something, and remember with so remember this base temperature should be the balance point of the school. Let's try 60. Okay, that's a better fit. Let's try 55. Okay, even better fit. Let's try 45. Okay, so you can see as I try these different balance point temperatures, I get better and better fits. So let's try something more drastic. Let's try 10. So it doesn't even show the fit on there. The fit is. Wow, the fit's 0.12, so that's really bad. Let's try 20. Okay, the points, the, the fit's 0.63. So you get the idea. So one thing you're going to want to do is play around with your base temperature. Remember, that's the balance point temperature of your school until you get a, a relatively good R-squared value. And you can see, you know, it won't take too long, but just try, try it out. See what, see what you can get. Because um, remember, you want R-squared as close to 1 to get a good model of your building. Okay, so that's basically all I'm going to show you for this. What I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you this sheet with um, all the blue areas um, canceled out. And what you're going to have to do is what I would try is I would try to replicate my numbers that I'm showing you here um, with your calculations and then copy and paste your own values in for the natural gas used and for the billing and start and end date. And then, and then that way you'll know the formulas are correct. So let me say that, so let me say that one more time. What I would highly recommend is that you um, try to replicate the numbers that I have in this video um, in terms of what I have going on for, um, you know, the adjusted baseline for natural gas and the natural gas savings, and um, also the heating degree days and cooling degree days and how they change, and then only then copy and paste your bill start date and your bill end date and your natural gas used and your electricity used. Then you'll know that your formulas are working correctly and then um, you can just go from there. All right, that's, that's all I have for now. Good luck with your adjusted baseline calculations.